Man, listen. Remember, despite all the fame, you, I'm a real with me. I'm a still with me, man. Dog, nigga, what? Ride till we die. It's home till it's up. Ah, man, listen. So, actually, I had somebody comment. I think it was Adam Holtz commented in my section, uh, in my comments today. And he said, hey, you know, look at he said that trucker strike went over like a lead balloon or whatever. <laughs> so I decided to find out like what happened to the trucker strike that was supposed to go on because I struck, you know what I mean? Like, you know, whatever. I, like, I ain't worked since like fucking Tuesday, whatever. So I was standing here and I was like, what's going on? I mean, why is it that, you know, like everybody was planning on striking all this, all this nonsense. Well, let me tell you, let me show you exactly what happened, right? Because... I'll be real with you. People are punks when it comes down to it. At the end of the day, people are a bunch of bitch motherfuckers. All right? And it's a pain in the ass that individuals who have the opportunity to make change don't do so because they're scared. Legitimately, they're fucking scared to lose their online shit. Right? Like, that's, that's just being real with you. Right, at no point, like his thing, at no point have I ever had an opportunity to make change. Right, at the end of the day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I might, you know what I mean, you know, bring out like halts and minds or, you know, stand here and show y'all new information, things of this nature. But like legitimately, never at any point have I had an opportunity to make change. Like actual change, affect the real life, real world. Right? So with that being said, check this out. Check this shit out. So I think this is from like last week, but this is, you know, I mean, legit from like, you know, this, this is about what happened, right? Some groups of truckers were attempting to plan a strike for the end of November. Since its creation earlier this month, about 75,000 people who say they're truckies, truckers have joined a Facebook group called Stop the Ties 2020. The group was also attempting a strike around Veterans Day, which didn't happen because like people are a bunch of punk. Right? And that's another part of this that I'm going to get into. You know what I'm saying? Like, go. Everybody's worried about civil war and revolution and all this bull. Yo, yo, these motherfuckers won't goddamn strike. It won't not work. That's how fucking weak motherfuckers are. That's how little motherfuckers care about actually affecting change. But Stop the Tires 2020 creator Jeremy Rebolt has backed away from calls for a work stop and saying now is the time now is not the time. Rewolt discussed the vlog how the overwhelming growth of the Facebook group took him by surprise and thrust him into a position of leadership he had not anticipated. Trucker strikes are difficult to organize and past attempts have had minimal uh, impact. The effects of the latest efforts remain to be seen. Some social media posts say a strike would create a backup on the roads and, cost, and uh, possibly delay shipments to stores, warning people to stock up on supplies. But a strike does not seem to be happening since movement leaders have called it off. That's right. They called it the fuck off. The group's profile photo was changed to include the words canceled and stand down, do not stop, now is not the time. It was updated again on November 16th to say delayed. The group's description is a banded group of brothers and sisters to show America who runs the country. Right? Let me see the picture there. Right. The reason why we're making an impact is one, we are self-reliant and we don't want to move back. We don't move, want to move back to across seas to ship, uh, ship in our oil. We have to be dependent on other countries. We want to be dependent on ourselves and when we have more, when we have more than enough here, said Brian Henson, stop the, 20, uh, stop the Tires 2020 committee member in another group called Trucker Strike 2020. The administration says the movement was created long before the COVID-19 and the election that a nonpartisan group whose sole purpose is to help create changes made within the industry to benefit drivers. Please bear in mind this page is nonpartisan and does not support any political party. Created this group wrote, I would like to stress this page is non-political. <sighs> Trucker group says drivers are overregulated, underpaid. And there are other issues as well, such as parking, e-logs, and detention. Henson, who is a former trucker, says any movement would not stop the shipment of medical or emergency Yo, fuck that. Stop all of it, right? But legit, man, like this is what happens, right? This is what happens when you're a punk, right? And you don't have the heart or the horsepower or the ability or the willpower to get it done. This is the thing, like this dude legitimately was more concerned about losing his fucking Facebook page 
than affecting change in the goddamn nation and having an opportunity to do so. That's just being real with you, right? This dude here was scared of fame. Just put it all the way 100 right there with him. He was scared of fame. He was scared to be the man he wanted, he could, to be the man he could be. It says a lot about that dude's fucking, you know, his heart and his soul and what he's made of. That's just being honest with you. You know what I mean? Like, yo, no, I ain't gonna take the bull by the horns. You know, I, man. Kind of like that mentality of, like, you know, Christians would never blow nothing up. Why? Like, hey, man, you know, God says you should blow some stuff up. He said, well, God just gave me that house. I feel like he wants me to live in it. Like, you're a punk. You're a fucking punk. The end of the day. Wanted to, you know what I mean? I just wanted to put this out here. Right? I just wanted to put this out here. You know, and like, uh, you know, let y'all know what the deal is. Right? At the end of the fuck day, I wanted to let y'all know what it is. Right? You know, because real leaders and real men stand up and handle their business when it's time to do so. You don't sit here and act like a fucking coward. Real shit. If you're going to be political, be political. It is what it is. You're trying to affect change on, on an economic matter. When it comes to geopolitics, you're political, son. It is what it is. Anyway, yo, look, I'm Tom Peace and P. Doy Dude. Man, like, share, and subscribe.